Was in Serpovo as what that's named by the Hosutian and Ungal, there is our Chanus Mary of Getzo's Mess. Ungal, there is our Chanus Mary. By the Hosutian Serpovo as what that's named, and another no he me as Nivor Poco, Yavarachanok Amenain Serposcots. Nur mes der je vormja, nerja, kavja je v tohres meres mer. Až na vodja go utjam paru reskez in fort boje v srpokvit. Až im je bmiš, je bhavitjanus, bhavitjanic amen. Hostovanim arač jas vzo je v srpovo aspodas. I confess before God and before the Holy Mother of God and before all the saints and before you, brothers and sisters, all of the sins which I have committed for I have sinned in thought in word and in deed, in all the sins by which men commit. Pray to God for me for forgiveness for my sins. My God, the Almighty, have mercy upon thee and grant thee forgiveness for all the transgressions of past and present. May deliver those from that are time to come and confirm the all in good works and give the rest of the life to come. Amen. Azate se, ye vizez marta ser nastvads, ye have told chimchnore se, hamen ein hans anatserots. Dat se jamanak apashrelo yev gorselo as bodies, ure se yev zarachaka gyanaster, shnur hoksu pokwin, hazon yev bogormas and yev namapar kavitians havidenits, amen. He shestir yev is mez arachi amma garin in astuzo, he shall lichik arachi amma garin in astuzo, aget sekar der amenain yer kit aret sekt yar nura utiam. Nara ye was mez ye voch meke yak, mek jo wot ye hash narodi nora. Hostovan ye ruktiar, ye vot net sex anun nora. Hark hor ye vot vo ye vok win serpo. Subjeges javas acet sukas deres, i sova perges es mezi melhats, jev get su tseš nori vor mutian juro, amen agal der astvats mer, get so jev vor mia. I mech da charis jev arši astvats in gal, jev pait zarac ja surt ne šanacis jev surt te vojs, ho nar ja jek juhi vjet ker paka nemk, a surt jev srašal jev sahto, Es haru tunet koart nem ki ev paru orem ki ev kez matus anem zot nu tunet ev es pars an tordi an surpokuit. Aijem ev mish ev havitianus havitenits amen. Matit zara chisa no astu zara astvads vur rachor ne ev matu tunet. Has gebo voce sur pi marto mehore nengavore perkiazis. Arakia der is Luisko ye was just smart to tune calls. Yar snort a sen in ye pan sen zis ye arn soup ye be hard gisko. Madich arachi se anas tizo aras vad vorak anas as mangu tuni. Hostovan ye es kezor tu chan bast vad ast vad zim. Oh ten ter zim ye san zim gram and trevo vesi. Who <laughs> Amargo <laughs> Was haru tunet kord nem ki ev parorim. Yev kez an yek nain zor sem matus an em zor nu tun yev es pars. An tar yev an tog witzer pa. Aijem yev mis yev avitian zavite nitamer.
does not touch the earth and has not known the
اتاق اورتونن ها یه بود با یه با کوینسر پا آیشم یه میشه با بیتیان سا بیده نیست آمین میاد زیم بردی بار باز ما Tan hasneli, boro bar mutune tan chape, yev gutu tune tan ba. Du estarat marta siru tianet kum, nayat si jortes koi vida chares aisur. Yev arant mes, yev antau ta gitzes mer, arata pes zor mutun koi vis gutu tun. Zikhez vale par kishan tun yev baltir, aizim yev miste vavitian zavite nis.
Եվ մարդը սերես աստված գոլով, եվ կեզ բայլ է պար գիշանություն եվ բատիվ, այժն եվ միշտ եվ ավիթյան ծավիտենից, ամեն։ Վրշտ վրինգ իս նի Եթիզիանս չապտր 5, 15-33. Լուկ կերվելի դեն հավ եվ 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 but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is, and do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with all your heart, always and for everything giving thanks to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body and is himself its savior. As the church is subject to Christ, so let wives also be subject in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, that he might present the church to himself in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Even so, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies, he who loves his wife loves himself, for no man ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is a profound one, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church, However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Please stand for the gospel reading. The reading is Luke 8, 49-56. While he was still speaking, a man from the ruler's house came and said, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher anymore. But Jesus, on hearing his, this, answered him, Do not fear, only believe, and she shall be well. And when he came to the house, 
he permitted no one to enter with him except Peter and John and James and the father and the mother of the child. And all were weeping and bewailing her. But he said, do not weep. She is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But taking her by the hand, he called saying, child, arise. And her spirit returned. And she got up at once, and he directed that something should be given her to eat. And her parents were amazed, but he charged them to tell no one of what had happened. Blessed is the gospel of our Lord. Amen. Der in Mary Sus Christus. Min Jesus gehoser, jo orta betin tunen meke ye kai vesavan hor. A chiket merav al ye ves mi hok net ser zain. Jesus ye blesset a sav jo orta betin. Mi vach nar mi ein havata ye vach chiket beti a hapri. Ye tunen mat ne lo chet horuts vo vore ve meke ners mat ne. Patsi Petrosen, Hagobosen, Yev Havanesen, Yev Manukin, Hormen, Yev Mormen, Amen, Nagulain, Yev Gavov, Pain, Zain, Asavisus, Milak, Kanimerat, Che, Alge, Kanana, Iskan, Onke, Zahre, Inzink, Vorvetev, Gitente, Merav, Isus, Amen, Nal, Durs, Hanelov, Burnets Achikan Zergen, Yev Gotchets Aselov, Manuk to Vodki Elir, Anor Hokim Veradar Sav, Yev Amichabes Vodki Gangnetsov, Yev Ramayets Borutelik Tan Anor, Tonoka Zarmatsan, Is Gamba Firets Anons, Mekunchesel, Inchborbata
Is vort gal senene yer femen hojam er vort vortin gam er yer femen hojam vort yer surpokin gam te hoche it yeren gam haid me eu tene asen ine zortin astu zo yev gam surpokin yev te popokhelikin gam ail alelik zain bisisen zove katorike yev arakerakan sup yegeretsi is mek parvore sup varach kan habitians yev kir pakanelo serpo yero tutyanen yev miast vadutyanen Hor ye vort vo ye vo kwin serpo, aizem ye mis ye vavitian savitenit. Amen. Ye ye vesavitian estera Jesu. Ye ye vesavatova Jesu ye chandresu kit diat ne. Perchenler me su se Christos er, i jamus vasta bani vautins, ja janin tu ne utianas er, ter namen akal get su se evor mesi. Kristos er, jam sur padra kis ev zara čaka ore sa utian pan se zanel gavato, i diar ne chandresu. Shreshta kautyan vapan on zans meros, idyar nech entresu. Shnor yadir. Az kavutyun yev az kautyun an zanats meros, idyar nech entresu. Shnor yadir. Az serpo hachin metz yev karol zorutyun an oknutyun an zans meros, idyar nech entresu. Yev yev as mi apan vasen jishmarit yev sur pavat wisnero as der avat yesu. Vesi arjana vorti eit su gautiam paroreles kes, ant hori ven su popuit, aizem yev mis yev abitian sabitenit. Amen, hautiun, amen tu. Christos per kich mer, vori fere kans amen ai mites yevas pans, amen atsos mes, yevan yek yupah ya amen ain chare. Havasar yaz mes an jishmari tjer ke pakus ko, vok hok bov yev jishmar tu tjam kez yer ke pakan hen. Vasen zi amen asorp yer tu tjan at vale par kishan u tjun yebatin, aizem yev mish yev abitian sabitenit. Ortnial, ter mer Jesus Christos, Amen. Ortnial, der ast vans ort neses amnesian.
Sovjet Sërbujam ka të subhau të s'hara që sërposa në isë hastu të ahir, jebë gëtë subhdor mu që në shnorës, a hurë hajtë në qanë, jebë i mjësan kam galës gjanë, tjarë me roje për qinë Isus i Kristosi, jetë të të se e borë me si. Shno hak e marta si rutjan, djarën me ro, je për qin Isus i Kristosi, Ën vërum kez hor mi anka majnë, je vok pujtë zër po, vajl e partë ki shanu tjun je batin, a i zhëm je misht e vavit janë të avit e një të a mërën, a u tjun, a me tu.
Sero Persen, Yevon Kero Persen, Mialzain Serbaza to Tiampori Nunavogs, Yapamazagabesco Cherdo, Akerenito Senior Vassar. Quisi coyot kes matutanek, astamenai ni epahat, amen etzu.
Lord Besti, Yeti sa amenetum mers medete dotus, Pandat apart to tune, Ikavo tune, Yevito tune, Mehaus. Yet mes I saw us serves, but it are us vaults or church. Ast was us nin serpogusi Maria mu, ye papa nu makarchin, stepanosi nachvakain, ye vamen ein serpent, ye tsi shadaki surpadarox. Aha, Ye 
was hat er für? Der Piskap aus der Bettenmöhn. Ihr wisst, Bafa kann heute der Betten am Nein heut. Es tut ihn. Gar ich ging zur Pause nach Wink hat euch kosten. Ihr wisst, ja, kies für euch ein Name an der Schnoten. Es tut dann, ja, ihr Piskap aus. Schnur ist es mit, und ihr habt keiner Wurst, wo ihr fahrt da, betut ja.
Christosiv, Hisusiv, Derak Merov, Antorum Kes of Witzerpa, Yehoram Menakali, Vale Parti Sanutun Yebati, 
Eichem jeden mich, der war wie Jans, hab ich den nichts. Amen. Give all it yams, all it needs,
Those who wish to receive Holy Communion today, please do kneel in the pews if you can and say the confession on page 48 in your Badara books or in the papers in the backs of your pews. Hanun hor, ye vort po, ye vok winsir po, amen. Me ba me na suke rukan bo, ye vort po, ye vok winsir po, me vok siare matsuz po, osto hani marachi asun do ye sir po asfadatri, ye marachi to haistu, da me na me na zor por ziare, kan zide na por to pani ye por do, kamai ye magana. Hast vads told Shunshnore se, may God grant you forgiveness. I have sinned by the seven transgressions of the deadly sin and all their forms, mainly by pride, envy, anger, laziness, covetousness, gluttony, and lust. I have sinned against God. May I ask the Lord. Hast vads told Shunshnore se, may God grant you forgiveness. I am a man, 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 I am Hast vads told Shunshnore say, may God grant you forgiveness. Reverend Father, I have you as reconciler and intercessor with the only begotten Son of God. By the authority given to you, you will release me of the bond of my sins. I ask you. Tervor mia, tervor mia, tervor mia. Vor mesidzes marta ser nast vads yev told Shunshnore say, hamen ein hansa nasseros. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God, who loves mankind, have mercy on you and forgive all of your sins, both those which you have confessed today as well as those that you have forgotten. And therefore, with the priestly authority given to me and by God's word, that whatever you forgive on earth shall be forgiven in heaven. By his word alone, I absolve you all participation in sin, in thought, in word, and in deed, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and I reinstate you into the sacraments of the Holy Church that whatever good you may do may be accounted to you for good and for the glory of our life to come. Amen.
Sein Hussein, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Uh, speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your hearts to the Lord. In today's reading, St. Paul reminds the church of the great power of music, a gift of God to the earth which lifts us up towards the heavens. Saint Augustine even went so far as to say the one who sings prays twice. Somehow 
Music allows us to say godly words and simultaneously to experience the grace of God which is beyond words. Our Father who art in heaven is one thing, but hide me. That's totally another. In church terminology, we could say that music is sacramental. So physical things, strings and keys and vocals, affect a mysterious inner movement of God's grace. Today's sermon is a reflection on the power of music and how we might best use it for our spiritual uplift on Sundays and throughout the week. Music has great powers to move us, but that can go in any direction. Music can move us to the highest things of God or toward lower things like politics and personalities and products. We hear so much music in our daily lives, which is aimed towards the trivial, that we can become numb to music's higher purpose. When every day we hear the heartwarming music of Mozart or the Beatles used to sell car insurance or cat food, our ears become dull to the great gift of music, and deep inside, we know that this is a shame. Shouldn't the mystical powers of music to evoke the true and the good and the beautiful be used to move us towards something more true and more good and more beautiful? Well, our houseplants seem to understand this even when we don't. You've surely heard of all those studies which indicate that potted plants grow more robustly when they listen to Mozart's music than when they don't. Music is powerful enough to move us to growth towards life itself, not just towards conspicuous consumption. And if good music helps plants grow, how can we doubt that you and I, who are made in the image of God, that we won't grow more like God when his melodies and his truths fill our ears and our lives. I think we would grow. But as with all spiritual things in this fallen world, it's a lot easier to say than it is to do. It's very hard to let the music of God fill our lives when there's so much other noise which fills us up. You have to make room for God in order to find him. It's very much like our problem with eating and why fasting is such an important spiritual discipline in our church. We don't fast because food is bad. We fast to recall that all food is a gift. We fast to recall that our hunger is more than food and that food for our souls which God gives not only fills us, but nourishes and sustains us. And what is true for our mouths is also true of our ears. Be careful how you hear, Jesus said only two weeks ago, because our ears can also become dull and unattuned to the words and music of God. So what can we do to keep our hearing attuned to its highest goal and end. Well, we can fast with our ears. For a day or a week or a season, turning down the sounds which aim us low and turning up the life-giving music and words of God. What would this look like? First off, in this age of ceaseless notifications, this means we have to create periods of silence. Silence is the first language of God, said John of the cross. We have to actively schedule silence in our days, even if for five minutes for a prayer or for 15 minutes for a walk outside so that we can hear God's first language of silence. And when we do listen to music, what if we consciously chose music which moves us to God? Sure, we could listen to Badarak music all week, like Bobby does, and that's a fine thing. 
but there's lots of godly music out there to listen to. We can listen to the sacred music of Mozart and Brahms and Beethoven and Vivaldi, all Christians. We can tell Siri or Alexa to play Johann Sebastian Bach. His 1,128 pieces of music would provide an entire week of godly music. And how do we know that Bach's music is godly? Well, he actually told us. At the bottom of every piece of music he ever wrote were the letters S, D, and G, standing for Soli Deo Gloria, for the glory of God alone. When you finish with Bach, why not listen to the Bach of the Armenian church, Nerses Shnorhali? His hymns and chants make up one quarter of our entire sacred canon. Shnorhali didn't have to write glory to God alone on his works because it's right there in his name, Shnorhali, full of grace. Nerses was full of this heavenly gift of music, which he offered back for the glory of God and for our church. Can you imagine how we would grow alongside our potted plants if we regularly took in such godly refrains. So to reattune our ears to God, first let's find time for silence, and next let's increase our diet of godly music during the week. But finally, let's bring the sacred power of our Sunday music to bear on the rest of our week as it was intended. Because worship, if it's done properly, doesn't end in the sanctuary, it just begins here. True worship puts godly songs within us and leaves them in place for the whole rest of the week. Der Vormja is not just a Sunday solo, it can be a daily mantra. Lord, have mercy on me, have mercy on a fallen and an anxious world in such need of your mercy and your grace. Sure, we hear that melody in full voice on Sunday, but what if that melody lingered on in us throughout our week, at school, at work, when driving or when shopping? That's what sacred music can be. If we heed Jesus' words, to be careful how we hear. For music is an everyday sacrament where simple words and melodies evoke the movement of God within us and raising us up to our fullest potential in him, now and always, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I now ask you, while the Sunday school goes forward to fellowship, my guys, you can stay if you want, but you should probably go. Have a nice day, Anton. See you later, Nautic. As the Sunday school heads off, I'll do my announcements now and then have a special uh, guest for you to hear. Uh, our announcements uh, today are that the Women's Guild is meeting today um, after church, and I believe that they will confirm their desire to have a bake sale on November 21st. That still needs to be ratified today and committed to, but that looks like it. November 21st, where you can get all of your goodies uh, for your Thanksgiving table or to bring them wherever you're traveling to. So do support the Women's Guild and the bake sale on November 21st. How many of you know about podcasts? Does anyone here listen to podcasts? Mallory, Chuck, all right. Frege, all right. That's nice. We now have a podcast for St. Hoggob Church. What this means is, on your device, you push a button, and you get all the Sunday sermons, uh, my Sunday sermons, right after I'm done with them, to listen to while you're working, you're doing your laundry, whatever you want to do. But also now, uh, we've done the first spiritual conversation, I would call it, with someone in the church, with Alicia Kizian, um, and that is now also on the podcast. So. Uh, if you have an iPhone, go to the place in your iPhone where you subscribe. Uh, Spotify is possible. You can tell your speaker to uh, play St. Hagop Church podcasts. It gets confused when you say Hagop, but if you say Hagop or something, sometimes it understands it, sometimes it doesn't. 
Uh, but that's our podcast. I think it's a wonderful way um, for us to communicate and hear the word of God. And our Advent dinner is on December 1st. I love it. Informal food catered by Mazzaro's in the hall. Then we come over for a short uh, worship to get us in the mood of Christmas and ready for Christmas. And then we have speakers who are talking about the topic, leaning on hope, leaning in to hope. And so now the final announcement for you, uh, and do join us in Shah Nazarian Hall afterwards today for fellowship. Uh, the final announcement um, is just to uh, give some thanks and ask for some words from someone very important and special in our church. As you know, it's uh, stewardship time in our church. This church runs on stewardship, which means we try not to bother you about fundraising all the time. We simply try to ask you that as you've been blessed by God to give to your church and the rest will take care of itself. Uh, and all of you have done that. Uh, but in order to get us all into that framework. I talk about stewardship in my sermon twice, and we have two speakers uh, who are stewards and longtime stewards of the church uh, to share their story. And Tanya Sarafian has been a very longtime steward of this church. I love looking at old pictures and seeing her son Michael uh, this big uh, at church and how much he's grown. Uh, to me, that's reflective of how this church has grown through the stewardship of many, including Tanya, who's given her gifts to Parish Council and to Women's Guild uh, over many years. Um, and so we thank Tanya for her service. Uh, she's an example of stewardship to the church, and we've asked Tanya uh, to say a few words to you all uh, about her love for the Armenian Church for St. Hagop and her stewardship. Thank you, Tanya. St. Hagop is my parish church since 1984, about 37 years. Over the years, I served in the auditing committee, Sunday school, and between 2011 and 2013 as a parish council and greeter almost every Sunday. I lived the first 24 years of my life in Istanbul, Turkey. Dr. Shah Nazarian asked me if I can include my experiences as an Armenian Christian in Turkey as well as in the United States. My father, Hagop Hagopian, served in numerous Armenian churches in Istanbul as an archdeacon and choir master for many, many years. I attended Badarak regularly every Sunday with my dad from 9.30 to 1 p.m., which is about three and a half hours of Badarak. Uh, every Sunday during my teenager years. He was on the altar and me and my mom in the audience and no Sunday school to attend, unfortunately. A steward of the church is a member who supports the church with time, talent, or financial pledges. If I make a comparison between two countries, in Istanbul, the churches own residential rental properties, which are donated by the diseased members of the church and bring steady fixed income every month, whether the church is shut down because of the pandemic COVID or not. In St. Hagop Church, the monthly revenue is a variable factor. During the pandemic, the church was shut down and all the events in the Shahnasaryan Hall were canceled. In other words, revenue went down drastically. The emphasis of stewardship is on what we can contribute. It's not how much. We can help the parish council members with simple tasks on Sundays, like when you see a new family entering the church, today I see a couple of them, or a new guest sitting next to us, please approach to them and greet them with a smile but never ask the question if they are Armenian or not. St. Hagop is open to all the be believers of Christ. Many of our best stewards in the past and present are non-Armenians, and they all are the best stewards we can ask for. Please don't make them rethink this may be not the church I belong, because they are not Armenian. They will tell you that their best friend in school was Armenian, 
or there was an Armenian family next to their house, their neighbor, and they were wonderful people, and their mother was the best cook. I experienced and listened to their stories when I was the greeter at the church. That's why I wanted to share this with you. Every Sunday at the end of the Badarak, Father Honan invites all of us for fellowship in the Shamasarian Hall, but our visitors may still be shy to enter the hall. Please guide them and sit down with them at the table if possible. You are being a good steward of our church. With your continued support and Father Honan's guidance, we can sustain the vision of our church, recognizing the importance of faith, family, and fellowship. Thank you very much. From the Father of Light, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, He was in the beginning with God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. <laughs> Եվ պահպանյաս հավատացյալ ժողորդը սայս ընթովանյավ սուրբ եվ բապական խաչիվը կովի խահության, պրկյա հերևելի եվ աներվու թշտանվոյն արժանողորյա գոհության պարորսք ես, ընթոր եվ ընսուրպոքվույս, այժմ եվ միշտ Thank you, Tanya, for your words. Please join us in Shah Nazarian Hall. We have occasions to talk about and celebrate over there. One occasion uh, that we will leave church with uh, is the 22nd anniversary of His Holiness God II being our Catholicos. So uh, as a recessional on the way out of church before you bow before the gospel, again, don't kiss it now, but just bow, and uh, we will hear the song Amen Hai in tribute to our Catholicos and towards holy Echmiazin. Ortne Ortnia Kirilukishna has to poke wheat. Yet I call you champion of the Yeritian says in Dominiciana Tamen, be blessed by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Depart in peace, and may the Lord be with you always. Amen. <laughs>